Hey guys, welcome to part 4 of my save file. If you haven't checked out any of the other save file videos, then I would definitely suggest going and doing that just so you can be up to date on, you know, where we're going with this file and if and when I do reference other families or sims, then, you know, you'll know who I'm going on about, basically. <laughs> but how are we all doing today? I just wanted to check in before we get into the video. Uh, I hope that today's a good day. I hope that you're all doing well. I'm gonna be honest, today I am a little stressed. <laughs> I um, I left preparing this video really late. I don't know why, I just completely forgot that it was what day it was. So yesterday I was like, oh my, I ha my video is meant to be out tomorrow. So now I'm stressing slightly. I um, had all these builds to do yesterday as well as getting other stuff done in life. And um, it's first thing in the morning, Today my video is meant to be up in a few hours and I'm recording this voiceover. So I'm sorry if I sound a bit groggy. I literally rolled out of bed and was like, right, well, let's get to it. <laughs> so apologies for that. But um, I hope that you guys are happy just to have a nice chill little natter while we watch this footage because that's what I'm kind of feeling today. I feel like life has been quite hectic for a while and I feel like just kind of having a little sit down and a little watch and a little chat, you know? So I hope that sounds good to you guys. But basically just to remind you if you've forgotten or if you haven't watched the other videos, this save file is inspired by The Sims 2 so you'll see lots of familiar faces from that game but I'll also be introducing my own families. So previously we've seen the Broke family from The Sims 2 come in and also we've seen families like the James family and the Blossom family which are my new families. Now Willow Creek will be a completely base game. We haven't decided yet on what packs I'll be using for the other worlds although I've had some great suggestions so if you're any of those people that have suggested thank you so much. I really really appreciate it. In this video we'll be seeing three builds which means Drum roll, please. By the end of this video, we'll be finished with the second neighbourhood of Willow Creek. Which is so exciting, I can't wait to move on. I mean, that sounds really bad, you know. I'm having fun, but you know, each time I complete one, I'm like, yes, next one, let's go. <laughs> but I, I'm trying my best to condense the builds and these episodes down so that we can make our way through the save a little bit quicker because I don't want to drag it out. I don't want you guys to get bored. So, I'm, yeah, I'm trying my best to keep the momentum going. But when we do get to some of the bigger builds or the more, say, iconic families, then I will probably end up just focusing on them for the video. Like, if I end up doing a big mansion, I'll probably just do the mansion in that video. We won't have several other um, houses or, or community lots or anything like that. It'll probably just be the one build. And then, say, if we were to do, like the goth family or something, I would probably just do one video focused on them. Now having said that actually, <laughs> here we go, I said a couple episodes ago that when I was building a house, if I knew there was going to be a specific family in that house I was creating, I would show you the cast of that household uh, in the same video. Yeah, we're not going to do that. I decided that, no, we're let's get rid of that idea, let's forget I said that, <laughs> let's move on. Yeah, I just, I feel like it takes up too much time for the little bit you see in the cast, so I've decided that um, instead I'm just going to have them in some screenshots at the end and I'll obviously talk about them while we're watching the build and um, then after I finish Willow Creek we'll go back in an episode and I'll just kind of pop into some households and we'll have a look at the actual sims and the families and their stories a little bit more because we'll obviously have seen all the builds already. So that's what I'm thinking. I think that's that sounds better um, so that we can get through this at a decent pace and then it means if you're not that interested in seeing the families in depth then you don't need to watch that episode, that's fine. But yeah, so we've moved on, we're on to the park now but just to talk quickly about um, the first house. It was a small two bed family home and last episode I spoke about how I wanted this neighbourhood to be like a housing estate so all the houses are made by the one company at the same time but there's different prices and different models for them. So I was thinking that that house would be like the cheapest option, you know, like the entry level house. So I never created a family for it. I left it empty because I thought it could be a nice house to start like your own story in. I think it's over 60,000 simoleons. 
so it's not a start at home but you know if you want to type in the cheeky wee mother load or free real estate you know I won't tell anyone it can be our little secret it's okay <laughs> Now, because I said this neighbourhood was uh, family orientated, you'll see that there was a toddler room and like lots of toys ready in that house. And also in this park I'm about to speak about, right now you'll see there's a little sand pit. That's going to be filled with toys. There's some potties, things like that. Every build in this neighbourhood is ready to go for little kids. But yeah, I really like the, the layout of that last house because I think it was really uh, cosy and intimate and I think I can really imagine a nice little young family spending a lot of time together and being really close actually. So I like it. There's also that little area, I don't know if you would have seen, I mean I've been blabbing too much that we've moved way past it but we're just going to have to go with it. You're going to have to reimagine it. There was a little space upstairs that I never used, it's just like in the eaves and you could easily convert that into some sort of space if you wanted to expand the house at all. I was kind of thinking it could be something like, um, you know in The Princess Diaries when uh, Maya, Mia, Maya? No, Mia. Mia, I think it was. Anyway, uh, she has the tower, as they call it, um, and that just kind of reminds me of like having like a little space as a kid that's just completely your own and I could just imagine having like little pillows on like all around the floor and it'd be really cozy and little curtains up and just your toys or whatever and you could put like a little ladder from the kids room into it or something. I love that idea. That sounds really nice. So you could do something like that I suppose if that sounds interesting to you at all. Um, yes also I will have a video up um, kind of related to as a kid growing up I had little cubby hole doors in my room and uh, it's a long story I'm not going to get into it it's part of a bigger story but I'll have a video up in a couple weeks regarding that and it's part of a collaboration it's going to be a very spooky story so if you like spooky stories and spooky builds and real life spooky stories I guess definitely hang about for that keep an eye out for it but yeah quickly I'll talk about the park because I I said we're gonna have a chill episode and then here's me blabbering away about 10,000 miles an hour <laughs> anyway that park I decided to do a little park instead of another house because I felt like the community was quite separate from the rest of Willow Creek. Because of it being a housing estate, I imagined all the families that live here spend a lot of time with one another. Like the kids, maybe after school, they all kind of hang out together or maybe at the weekends, all the families go to that park and they all have a barbecue. You know, I know you can't really do that stuff very... Um, very well in The Sims 4, but we can pretend for story purposes, we can pretend. <laughs> but that's what I imagined it being, that nice space for them to go and hang out or, you know, it's fine for the kids to go there themselves because their houses are literally right across the street. You know, it's like a safe little neighbourhood, a little bubble. So I like that. And you have everything you need there. Like I say, it has loads of kids stuff, it has a painting area, a planting area. It's got everything you need. But I will be doing the big main park in Willow Creek too, so you don't need to worry about that. Anyway, so this is the final house in the neighbourhood. This is 3 Astor Lane and the family that live here are the Miller family. So this family consists of Michael, the father, who is a hardworking businessman. So of course he gets his own home office that the kids aren't allowed to go in and he spends a lot of time in there when he's not at work. But basically, to give you a little rundown of the family, the story with them is just over a year ago, Michael's wife Lisa passed away from an illness. So this has meant that it's been pretty rough for the family, obviously, as you can imagine. I mean, financially, they're fine. Michael's got a great income, a steady job, so they don't need to worry about that. But they, you know, he's lost his biggest support, his biggest cheerleader and the person he would always go to for advice or when things are getting stressful at work, you know, he had a great relationship with his wife. And the same with the kids, they've missed, they're missing their role model, you know, their dad is a very busy man, he doesn't have much time for them, as much as that sounds terrible, you know, he is very work orientated. So they've lost that, you know, the mum figure, they've lost that. So that does mean that the oldest sibling, Gemma, she's had to grow up pretty fast. She's a teen, but she's she pretty much does all the caring for the kids, you know, she's she's the new mum, I guess. And um, she wants to be an artist. She is creative and clumsy, which I suppose is not a great combination because you want to be careful around your art. But <laughs> we all have challenges in life, right? This is, this is another challenge for Gemma. <laughs> but um, 
yeah, I just hope that she finds time to focus a little bit on her future, on, on the things that she loves. Because she does have to spend a lot of time caring for her siblings. Especially as there's so many of them and they're quite young. So I hope she finds time for herself. Now, David, her younger brother, he is just a year younger and he wants to be an author. He's quiet and shy and timid and his traits are geek and bookworm. He very much spends a lot of time by himself, uh, especially around the family. Like He doesn't like this chaotic uh, life. He spends a lot of time in his room just writing or researching, things like that. But I mean, he is a loving and, and sweet guy. It's just he's really not a people person. And then there are the twins, Callum and Kieran. Now, Callum is rambunctious and self-assured, while Kieran is social and a goofball. Now, these two definitely have a bright future. They are the best of friends. They do everything together, and they're very outgoing and confident and friendly boys. You know, everyone loves them. Everyone respects them, and they have a lot of friends, and they bring a lot of positivity to this family, I think. So it's kind of what everyone needs, a little bit of a silly joy in their lives, you know? And then there is the little baby of the family, which is Ben, who is fussy. And I just hope that as he grows up, he he can start caring for Gemma a little bit more because she's having to put her whole life on hold to care for him especially because he's just a little toddler. So I really hope that he can start giving back to his big sister. So this family are actually quite close with the James family, which was a family we saw in last episode. Now Michael often does business with Adam, the father in that family, and Lucy was very good friends with Lisa. So now that Lisa's gone, Lucy tries her best to step up a little bit and help out. She's a stay-at-home mum anyway, so she does as much as she can to help this family and help Gemma care for her siblings, which is really nice to know that they have that sort of support. But I really like this house. I think it's a nice spacious house. And I think that there's a lot of uh, nice areas for the families to hang out. I do feel like when I built it, it felt quite empty. Not furnishing wise, just like, like, like empty of life, you know? But I think that kind of symbolises what the family are going through. You know, they lost this bright bubble in their life. Um, but it has a lot of nice areas and stuff. The garden, I think, is really lovely. I think there's a lot more you could do with it. I think that it has a lot of potential, I think. I'm curious to see what happens with Gemma if you do decide to play this. Like, what happens in her life? Does she... Because she's a teenager, she's going to grow up soon. Does she put her life on hold and stay there to care for her siblings? Because, you know, her father can't can't take time off or can't quit his job, you know? So does she put her life on hold to do that? Or does she move out? Does she go away and get her, her job or whatever? And then what happens to the family? I'm curious to see how you play that story out. I also really hope all the siblings grow up to be decent people because, you know... When you lose a role model, it can affect you in lots of ways. So, yeah, I think there's a lot of potential with this family, but there's... I could go either way. I think it's a fun family. And I hope you like them. I hope you like this build. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I, it's made me feel a little bit better. I feel a bit more chill now. So thank you for joining me in this. Thank you for calming me down. I appreciate it. <laughs> and I do hope that you enjoyed it. And I will see you all very very soon oh i forgot to mention actually here's me getting caught up uh all these builds as usual will be available on the gallery for download my id is ribbity6 so feel free to go download them i'll put it in my description also let me know if you guys would play with any of these families or any of these stories just curious you know some feedback love it all right now i'm gonna go okay <laughs> right thank you for watching bye